Thanks for clicking. Canada's inflation rate hit 6.7% in the month of March, the highest increase in our inflation rate since 1991. Coincidentally, last time Canada's inflation rate was this high, our prime rate was at 11.25%. Good old days. Compared to the 3.2% that it is right now, but we'll get to that later. Canada's March inflation rate did not come as much of a surprise as the U.S. data just recently came in at 8.5%, and even the Bank of Canada has stated that they expect inflation to hover around 6% for at least the first half of 2022. And this inflation announcement comes on the heels of the Bank of Canada raising rates by 50 basis points for the first time in 20 years just last week alone. So what I want to do today is go over Canada's increasing inflation rate. Then we'll look at a press conference held by Tiff Macklem as he sought to outline the Bank of Canada's response to Canada's surging inflation rate and how the bank is going to respond in the coming months and years ahead. Then we'll go over how high interest rates could go and what to look for next. Speaking of what to look for next, it looks as though the rising interest rates intent on combating this inflation are already having an effect on Canada's real estate market as Canada reported its first decrease in the average house price in a long time. We'll obviously have updates on how this inflation rate is affecting our interest rate, which is already starting to show signs of cooling down the Canadian real estate market. If you want to get those updates, make sure you click like and subscribe, but for now, let's get into this inflation rate. As mentioned, Canada's inflation rate went up to 6.7% in the month of March. This came as a surprise to almost no one as we've all seen the rising prices of gas, food, and rent over the past year. And it doesn't look like this is going to be ending anytime soon. Last week, Bank of Canada Governor Tiff Macklem said that the Bank of Canada expects our inflation rate to hover around that 6% range for at least the first half of 2022. We now expect inflation to average almost 6% in the first half of 2022. With that said, the Bank of Canada is getting increasingly concerned that inflation expectations are getting unmoored. Inflation broadening and remaining higher for longer, the risk is the Canadians start to think that high inflation will become entrenched. That is, knowing that goods are going to be more expensive in 6, 8, 12 months from now, Canadians will rush into the market and buy them now with the hopes of with, with the hopes of beating the inflation rate. When we have an increase in demand for those goods, so the price of those goods will go, will go up, only increasing our inflation rate further. A self-fulfilling prophecy. This is a catch-23 situation. So obviously the Bank of Canada is going to be raising rates to get a hold of this inflation rate, the 6.7% inflation rate. But how high could they go? First part, Tiff Macklem suggested that the Bank of Canada doesn't have an interest rate mandate, they have an inflation mandate. We have an inflation target, not an interest rate target. This means Governing Council is not on autopilot to a pre-established destination for the policy interest rate. How high interest rates will go will depend on how the economy responds and how the outlook for inflation evolves. So the message from the Bank of Canada is they will be increasing interest rates until inflation starts to revert back, until we start to see inflation get back down to that 2 to 3% range. And I think this message is a big flip from what we've seen at the beginning of the pandemic. In the beginning of the pandemic, the Bank of Canada's message was go out and spend. Money is going to be cheap. Money is going to be in abundant supply. Go out and spend. Spend the money quickly. But now the bank is sending a different message. They're sending the message that money is going to be expensive in the future. Money is getting more expensive now and is going to be in short supply. By announcing this, the bank is hoping that Canadians will reduce their spending. They will hold back the purse springs, springs, the purse strings. They'll reduce their demand, and thereby, I think the bank is hoping that they can get control of over inflation without having to raise the rates where they think the rates actually do need to go to get control of inflation. They are trying to send the message to for Canadians not to spend nearly as much as they did at the beginning of the pandemic. While this messaging doesn't say specifically how high rates are going to go to get control over this inflation rate, it does show that the bank is going to raise rates until inflation is under control. In a recent interview, CIBC's Benjamin Tal said that Canadians should be prepared for the Bank of Canada to raise rates high and raise rates quickly. In the very near term, over the next six months, interest rates will be rising very, very quickly. We have to be ready for that. So yeah, rates are going to be going up. That much we do know. But I also think it's important to remember that the last time that our inflation rate was this high, our prime rate was right around that 11% range. 
In fact, as we've talked about in other videos before, there's only been two times in the past 50 years or so that Canada's inflation rate has been lower than our prime rate. And this is the third time in our in our in in the last 50, 60 years that that's happened. And the reason for that is that when the interest rates are lower than the inflation rate, technically we're still in loose monetary policy. We're still in a an accommodative monetary policy which is designed to encourage people to spend. If you can borrow money at 2% and that 2% is going to be worth less in a year from now because you know inflation rates at 6%, then you're going to borrow that two percent. The, the the as so long as interest rates are lower than the than our inflation rate, we're still encouraging to people to spend, despite all of the tough talk from the Bank of Canada, and I think they very well know this. They're just I think the mess they are hoping that the messaging gets through to Canadians to slow down on the spending, so they don't actually have to induce these m much higher interest rates that very well might be needed to get inflation under control. And the reason for that is they very well understand that Canadians are in much higher debt than they were in the 1970s and the 1980s when we did see sky high interest rates, when we did see 15-20% interest rates. And I think they understand that Canadians can't handle that debt load, especially with the increase in prices of real estate over the past few years and the extent to which Canadians and the government for that matter have increased their debts as well. So my read is I think Tiff Macklem is trying to scare Canadians into spending less. They get the picture in the hopes that they won't have to resort to interest rates, interest rate hikes. With that said, we will have updates out on the Bank of Canada's response to this inflation rate. Um, some are calling for another 50 basis point hike come June 1st when the Bank of Canada makes its next rate announcement. And we'll obviously have updates as this as this information, as this news, on, news unfolds. Um, if you want to get those updates, make sure you click like and subscribe. And thanks so much for watching.